I'm Zach Martina, and this is another edition of Broken News. Our top story tonight, after a 52-year-old Chinese man finished a marathon, he was disqualified for smoking cigarettes during the entirety of the race. Health enthusiasts across the globe were shocked and disgusted by such a blatant and public disregard for one's own body, with one person going as far to say, the science is there. It has been proven time and time again that running is so bad for your knees. And in Paris, France, climate activists have thrown cans of tomato soup at Leonardo da Vinci's famed Mona Lisa in the Louvre last month. Though the masterpiece was unharmed as it is kept behind bulletproof glass, which means the most damage these climate activists did was to the planet's climate when they farted upon entering the museum. And in true crime romance, after meeting on Luxy, a dating app for millionaires, an Arizona woman sent over 159,000 text messages to a man following their first and only date. Upon learning that the text messages ranged in emotion from loving to threatening, it is safe to say that Luxy is loose with the term millionaire as the only thing this woman had one million of was personalities. In Turkey, a drunken man spent hours as a member of a search party before realizing the group was, in fact, searching for him. After hours of calling his name, the missing man said, Wait, who are we looking for? I'm right here. The search party didn't know whether to be happy or sad as they had found the man they were looking for, but he had clearly lost his mind. And our final story tonight, an Ontario woman has claimed that Keanu Reeves is the biological father to her four children, though she never knew the Hollywood actor as Keanu Reeves because he often took on different identities, including John Wick, Shane Falco, and Neo. The woman claims that the Matrix Trilogy star not only knew hypnosis, but how to shapeshift as well. Upon hearing the ridiculous nature of the claims, the judge dismissed the case and suggested that the woman switch from the blue pill to the red pill. And that is it for this edition of Broken News. My name is Zach Martino, reminding you that if it's already been broken, you can't break it again. <laughs> <laughs>